In this video today, we're going to be looking at the round cube web mail. So if you watched previous videos and just saw how you can set up a new user account, if you've got access to cPanel, this video is actually for users and to show you just around the inside of the mail account and how you can use it. Standard email, like everything else, if you're used to free email accounts like Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, Gmail, whatever, or even Outlook Express, they've all got their similarities. And at the end of the day, you've got a way to read emails, a way to send emails. You can put set up filters. You can put basic settings. I'm just going to walk you through um, the basics today. So on Roundcube, uh, on these this side here, the folders, we've got just our inbox, drafts that we've created, emails we've sent, junk and trash folders. The icons along the top of the screen, we've got check for new messages. We can just refresh. Here we can create a new message by clicking the pencil icon. And then if I just click this message, we can either reply to the sender, reply to sender and all the recipients. We can forward the message. We can delete the message. And then we've got some mark messages as well. We can mark it as read, as unread, flag it or as unflagged. And then on the settings options or the more actions options, you've got a print option. You can download it. You can edit as new show the source or open it in a new window. So they're the basic options we have here. Along the top here, this depicts what you're doing. So this is where we're at the moment. We're looking at email. If you want to go to our address book, we just choose address book, personal addresses. And if you've got ones already here, they'll show up. We can create a new contact card. Just click the link and we'll make a new contact there. And then when we've got people highlighted we can select them and we can create a message to that person we can delete contacts we can import contacts if we have them already um, exported in a list we can import them here we can choose and you can do it from inside a file and the import is from v cards so if you've got a v card data format files you can actually import them from here and then if we've got contacts in our contact list we can choose to export them as well in the v card format the next option along is settings and here we've got a choice of preferences folders and you can see the folders that we have here so we could add a new folder if we wanted to we can uh, choose to make it threaded when when people when their conversations and then we've got identities so this is our identity this is our demo account that we created in previous uh, videos and when you choose this you'll get some options here to show the display name so when you send emails what the display name is the email address that it shows sending from you can put the organization and also a reply to emails if you want to make it that when people reply to you, they send it to a different email you can put that in here this is to copy in others and we can choose to set this as our default if we want to then the other option finally is if we want to have a signature file so we could put our company or work telephone number maybe an ad if we want to have put an advert in here put some information it's going to be your standard signature that you'll use on your emails and you can choose to make it an HTML if you want to or just leave it as plain text and then once you're happy with that you'd hit save and that would be your signature file for this identity so if we go back to preferences inside the settings section you've got the user interface and this you can choose a language here you can set the time zones you can put daylight saving time if it's applicable and it says here pretty dates which is a better way to leave it. It's a better format for actually sending and receiving emails and seeing the information. Mailbox view. Here we can say we can choose to see a preview pane of each email if we want to, or we can leave it just to have the line. We can mark previewed if we want to as read immediately or after a certain amount of time. Send notifications. We can ask the user send automatically or ignore. Expand message threads. Again, we can choose how we want to do that. Focus browser window or new message, we can choose to or not. Check for new messages, so it refreshes once you're logged in every one, three or five minutes. And check all folders for new messages, you can do that as well. Under composing messages, we choose, do we want to make them HTML? Are we going to save draft? Perhaps every three to one, three minutes. Attachment names, we can choose here, it's best just to leave it as it stands. Mime encoding, we can choose. Again, you don't have to do that. And when replying, do you want to start above the original or below the original message? You can choose. Automatically add the signature we created earlier on with our identity. We can say never, always, new messages only, or replies and forwards only. So you can choose when you're going to include that signature file. 
when replying or forwarding play signature below the quote or above the quote. It's entirely up to you. And when replying, remove the original signature from the message you can choose to or not. And you just go ahead and save your changes. Displaying messages. Here we can choose to display in HTML if we want to or not, or just in text. The character set, inline images, display attached images below the message. You can do it if it's showed or not. And then after the message is deleted, you can move or display the next message. I choose to do that. It's up to you. Special folders just gives us the folders information and then the server settings. Mark the messages read on delete. Flag the message for deletion instead of delete. It's up to you. Do not show deleted messages. And if moving messages to trash fails, delete them. So I'm going to choose that. I'm also going to choose to clear my trash bin on logout rather than letting it pile up. And you can also compact the inbox if you want to. I tend to leave that one as it is. So that's saved. And that's it. We've gone through all of the features. If we go back to email. In our inbox, you can see we receive a test email. So we click to read it. Tells us the subject who the sender was and we can also here we could click this and add this person to our address book who the recipient is well it's us if we want to reply to there's the reply to address we can choose gives us today's date and time this just gives us more return information if we want to look through details but you don't need to at this stage in most messaging if you suspect it's spam it's sometimes worth looking because it might have been forward through domains and give you some useful information here then there's the person's message now we could choose to if we want to we can delete the message we can reply to the message we could reply to all recipients or we could just forward this on to someone else we can then choose to keep it in the inbox or the trash or wherever we want to or any of the folders that we've set up and that's pretty much it composing is straightforward we just click the little mail icon and we can go ahead and start creating an email so we can say to the recipient put them in here and if we've got contacts we can actually put our contacts in here as well we can do spell checks we can save it as a draft put in the subject type the message and then go ahead and click send and that's pretty much straightforward use of round cube standard email and how you can use it to send and receive messages into your webmail account using round cube thanks for watching mm -hmm.